Om Shanti and now we are here for the 1st of September Godly Blessing. A beautiful blessing where Supreme Father wants us to become more aware. More aware about our ancestralness. That means we were originally descended on earth very long back. Have experienced everything more than what people are experiencing now. And have that wisdom within us. And how do we tap into it? How do we use it? So various sciences have learned the method of tapping into somebody's past. But we through meditation, through Brahma Kumaris and through the knowledge can tap into the real past of ourselves, how we were and who we were and imbibe those beautiful virtues and qualities which we had when we came back on, the, came on this earth, which we have lost now, how to retain and regain them so that our future and our present becomes beautiful. That's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. So it's all about getting to know your past and then moving ahead and making decisions in the present and the future for a better future. So God says, may you become filled with the awareness of being an ancestor and sustain everyone with your pure attitude and the power of your mind. If you are an elderly brother, elderly sister, what is your attitude? You tend to guide your brothers and sisters who are younger to you, right? That's what God wants us to do over here. We are ancestral souls in the world. 800 crore souls so we need to help them out right through meditation we can't reach them personally one to one in one lifetime but we through meditation through thought power we can help them out so god says when you meet or see souls of any other religion have the awareness that all of those souls are from the dynasty of your great great grandfather adam right you brahmin souls brahmin adam or brahma is one of the same thing so brahmin means children of Brahma or Adam. You Brahmin souls are the ancestors and ancestors sustain everyone. That means they guide everybody as per everybody's capacity. You can't push everybody harder, right? With a logic sustenance. That means you don't sustain them by giving them gifts or laurels and promotions and all those things. That is a separate thing. But you help them out by making them uplifted. A logic means something which is not of this world. That means spiritually. You have to fill all souls with all the powers you have received from the father that means help them see the light in their problems whatever power a soul needs with the power to tolerate power to face power to discern power to judge just the situation not others power to sustain peace power to face situations whatever power a soul needs sustain that soul with that power for this your attitude has to be very Pure. That means you can't get irritated with somebody you're helping out. You can't be frustrated with somebody you're helping. You can't be calling names with to somebody who's not changing, right? You have to have patience. You have to have that power within yourself and a pure mind towards that person. And your mind has to be powerful. That means if somebody is blaming you, somebody is shouting back at you, don't tell me all these things. Who are you to tell me? You do it yourself first. If you're in this situation, how, what would you have done? How would you face this situation? It's easy to say it. Well, all those things will come to you because souls are tired souls have become weary they don't understand that when they change themselves it's for their own peace of mind it's not about changing the person changing the situation changing the place changing the country changing the job changing anything if you have the power you can change anything around you but if you don't have the power you have to change the place you have to change the situation you have to change your job you have to change the house you have to change your spouse you have to change relationships what all will you like to change you'll be always be drifting then you will never feel that you are stable. And we need stability, right? There will be a time when we will be tired of being unstable and moving around too much. Life wants stability. A tree is also rooted somewhere. It's not always moving around. So we can find this with the help of the power. Help them out. Guide them out even if they don't have the power. Help them, guide them to make the right decisions. As per, as per how much can they take. With this, Om Shanti.